The ban on free speech and thought is careering forward at a destructive and lunatic pace. You shrink the language, you diminish the person. It always works. Marx knew it, Mao knew it, and now the neo-Marxist left are pushing the latest version. Let's look at how ridiculous and dangerous it is. Here's a few suggestions for the mad and bad who want to control what we say, do and think, and therefore who we are. The Bible, a hotbed of sexism and racism and violence, will now be replaced by a vegan shopping list, i.e. a safe space for all believers and non-believers. The Lord's Prayer will now be called the gender neutral prayer and will begin with our non-birthing parent who art in heaven. And clearly anything with the word man in it is to be banned, like manger. So Jesus Christ wasn't born in a manger, but a gender free stable. Faggots and peas will now be gays and peas. Father Christmas is now non-birthing parent Christmas. The alphabet, which is ultimately responsible for years of sexist and racist terms, will now be replaced by 26 gender neutral and non-racist meaningless squiggles. So no one will learn to read and therefore will thankfully no longer be subjected to corrupting words. Children will be fined or imprisoned if they refer to their parents as mum and dad rather than birthing and non-birthing parent. Although, of course, it's rampantly sexist to suggest that men can't have babies. Pop music will have to rid itself of all sexism, racism and violence. So we can't have Beat in the Beatles, who will now be referred to as the Stroke Gentles. The Rolling Stones are the gently pulsating marshmallows. The police are now those who must be defunded. The Foo Fighters are now the Fluffy Kittens. Mumford and Son will now be called Birthing Parent and Gender Free Child. Barry Manilo is Barry Gender Neutralo. And Little Richard is now Differently Statured Richard. Nights in White Satin is now called Nights in Racially Privileged Satin. Jailhouse Rock is now Place of Rehabilitation, rehabilitation Inclusiveness. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas is now I'm dreaming of a privileged and filthy racist Christmas. And the song When a Man Loves a Woman will now be called When a Person Loves a Person. The game of chess is a no-no with its black and white pieces. It will now be called a game between privileged majority pieces and oppressed minority pieces. Black Lives Matter logos will be on all the squares of the board. Whites are not allowed to win and must take the knee each time they move. Clothes are obviously sexist, which is why children's clothes shops in California are now banned from using he and she and boy and girl tags and are having to replace rampantly sexist colours like blue and pink with neutral autumnal colours. Perhaps we should just paint the whole world grey and dye all the oceans and the sky beige Clouds are mostly racist white, so we need to spray them with inoffensive beige or grey. Snow must be banned, or at least sprayed with neutral grey paint the moment it settles. Soot is a horribly racist word suggesting blackness and dirt, so that will be replaced by the phrase chimney excreta. And of course, sport will have to be reinvented completely. Transgender men can now win in women's sports, which is a step forward but doesn't go far enough. All sexual discrimination must give way to equality and inclusiveness. So there's no more men's and women's football. Manchester United, Liverpool and Arsenal must, to be properly inclusive, have in their first team a mix of 11 races and 11 genders, including men, women and transgenders. And the same with rugby and tennis. Mangoes will now be called women goes and all fruits will be called gays. And in Spain, you can no longer say manana, manana, but differently genderana, differently genderana. And you can't have a bank manager, but a bank neutrally gendered person. Given that a black woman recently played Anne Boleyn in a TV drama, I suggest a film about Martin Luther King 
in which Ricky Gervais plays Martin Luther King. And given that gender is also up for grabs, a film about Nelson Mandela with Madonna playing Nelson Mandela and Dawn French starring in a musical as Malcolm X. These propositions are no longer ridiculous within the parameters of current thinking about race and gender and language and culture. The whole culture will have to be changed. You can't ref refer to, to the, the actor Paul Newman, but Paul Newperson and Dustin Hoffman is Dustin Hoffperson. Madonna will be called Person of Special Merit. The play and film A Man for All Seasons is now Non-Birthing Parent for All Seasons. Little Women, the book, will be Feminists of Different Stature. Taming of the Shrew will now be called Negotiating on an Equal Basis with a Person. Fanny by Gaslight is clearly sexist and will henceforth be called Neutral Genitalia by Gaslight and Fanny Hill will be Neutral Genitalia Hill. Dick is obviously a sexist word, so Moby Dick will now be Moby Big Fish, subtitled A Story About a Great, Privileged and Probably Racist White Whale, because it's white. Dick Turpin will now be called Person on a Horse. And for the wokishly sensitive, Death in Venice is now retitled Falling Asleep in a Nice Place. Seven Brides for Seven Brothers is now Seven Persons for Seven Persons. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs is Neutral Grey and the Seven Vertically Different People. Dirty Harry is now called Unhygienic Person. This will go on and on until everything is meaningless and thought and communication is impossible, which is the idea.